Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen again. Hopefully you've been here several times. Um, we're gonna talk today about our Rock Rock collection, but more importantly, about easy dinners. If you're like me, we're running around with the kids, we're doing scouts or baseball or you know dance, karate, whatever crazy stuff, and we want meals that are like 15, 20 minutes, right? We're even past the 30 minute dinners, aren't we? Um, I am at least. Anything that's quick and easy that feeds a bunch of people or that I can make ahead, is even better and this meal is something we make ahead and freeze sometimes i make two and three batches of this at one time and then portion it out and freeze it so we have something brand new that i want to talk to you about and it is our pre-season packs we have two different kinds we have chili and then we have a tuscan chicken herb uh, style pack. They come with three of these packages and it's like a serving of four so you can make one uh, batch of chili with this. Um, the other one you can make different things with different uh, you know you can make type of a chili pies or the other one the Tuscan chili ch ch Tuscan chicken you can make chicken and dumplings and different things like that but you get three of these packs in one set in our pantry stock in our pantry stock so make sure you check out our pantry. But anyways this makes such a quick and easy dinner that I can make ahead and freeze or make double batches. In fact, this was one of my daddy's favorites. He just passed away a few weeks ago, so I'm making it in his honor, but we're freezing it to have in the next couple of days um, as we're gonna be very busy. So I'm making this ahead, and all I have is our amazing Rock Rock line. You guys, our Rock Rock line does everything, okay? So our Rock Rock line, this amazing type of dish, it's black, it is a clay-based piece. It is dishwasher safe. This bad boy goes in everything. I can cook in the slow cooker stand that we have for our um, Rock Rock line. I can cook straight on the stove. I can cook in the oven. I can cook in the microwave. So this dish, even the one I'm making right now, I can actually make in about 10 minutes or so in the microwave. What? Um, you can also cook outside on the grill with this. So this really does do it all. It's great for campers and anything else. In fact, this is our everyday size, and I use this one for like cakes, like 10 minute cakes, lava cakes in the microwave when I want a quick dessert, because I don't wait. If I want a dessert, I want it right then. You can make um, 10 minute pork tenderloin in this. Um, it cooks a little bit quicker because of the heat, uh, heat induction that it has because it is clay based. This one is another one of our awesome rock rock pieces. It's my go-to piece. It's just a, a flat stone piece. You can make pizzas or reheat things, things like that in the oven. This fits in the microwave too, but I like it for quick veggies on the grill. So let me show you what I'm making. I just had to tell you about the rock rock line because it really does do everything and it is one of my most used pieces in my kitchen. So right now I have in here two pounds of ground beef that I actually put some garlic in and some salt and pepper just to uh, season it up. And if you don't have our garlic press, it's amazing. Literally, you don't have to peel the garlic. You put the garlic straight in and you crush it. And we have a Barbie brush that you don't even have to touch the garlic. Super fun. This thing is super impressive. So if you don't have one, get one. And just to tell you what I used for the ground beef is our mix and chop. It is in black. This is an old style one for help with cancer. And this is how we got the fine, uh, the fineness of the meat, so to speak, so that it chops really evenly and you don't have big chunks. So this slow cooker will be able to keep it on high or slow. I can keep it on high or low if I want to serve a crowd or anything like that. I am just going to chop up some onion really quick. You can put as much or as little onion as you want in this dish. I'm just putting a little bit. This is our food chopper. Okay. And I don't like a ton of onion in mine, so I'm not gonna use a ton. Our food chopper is my go-to for chopping single items like nuts or berries or onion, obviously, without making me tear. But I also have my food chopper out just to show you. I could have done the same in our food chopper, but I like the food chopper for multiple items like making pesto or salsas or dips or things that I'm throwing a couple of things in together. All right, so I'm just going to take and grab up this onion, sprinkle that in, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and add in um, two seasoning packs because I, like I said, I'm making a prep ahead and doing it in bulk so that I can make two meals for my family out of this. Like I said, this is gonna be so easy. I'm almost done. Okay, get my other seasoning packet. Tell me what you would like to cook in the Rock Rock. And also tell me how you like your chili. Some people like chili over rice. Some people like chili with saltine crackers and maybe some cheese or, um, some sour cream. 
Um, I'm a saltine gal. I like mine with saltines. So we're going to take our can opener. This is our smooth edge can opener. It opens it by the seal so that it doesn't cut you. So you have no sharp edges. Super awesome. I'm going to go ahead and open this. You can, um, for two packages, it's two packs uh, or two things of petite diced tomatoes and two cans of kidney beans. My family doesn't like that much tomato, so we're using one. Okay. All right, so one can of petite diced. If you want to jump up the heat, you can actually get the fire roasted ones. You can also add other seasonings that you and your family may want as well. This also is amazing because it has the actual, uh, what I call beak, to help you open it. I had already undone these. Another one, and one more. It's too many beans. <laughs> My husband is not a huge bean eater either. And this is two different colored beans, so I've got light and dark. Doesn't matter, uh, whatever your preference might be. And it calls for one and a half cups of water. I'm gonna start with two cups, even though it should be three, but I don't know, sometimes I like it a little bit thicker. Depends on how thick or thick you like, thick or thin you like your chili. So now I'm just going to take one of my spoons here. I'm going to take one of my colorful ones since I want to be bright and cheerful and represent my daddy. And literally, I'm just going to stir this together, make sure the seasonings get all mixed together. And guess what? I can microwave this for 10 minutes and it's gonna be done. I can slow cook it for 15 or 20 minutes or I can cook it on the stove for 15 or 20 minutes and dinner is done. I then add whatever toppings that I want and that's a quick and easy dinner that I'm not running through the fast food and I probably spent half of the amount I would spend at a fast food drive-thru on my family. And this is two dinners, not one, two, maybe even three for my family. So I hope you like tonight's segment. Tell me what you like with your chili.